Hello everyone, I'm Baishali Mitra. Today I'm going to tell you about a play refund by a famous Hungarian playwright Frigis Karinthi. The most important factor of this play is its humor. The play is full of humor and deals with an extraordinary ludicrous situation. One more amazing fact about the play is behind its free flow and smooth dialogue and free flow laughter, the playwright subtly conveys a message which is relevant for all the students of every age. So let us read together and learn about the play and laugh a little bit along with the message that the playwright wants to convey to us. Even before we read the play, let us concentrate a little bit on the famous Hungarian playwright Frigis Karinthi. He is a famous playwright as well as a novelist, a journalist and a translator. He began his career with his translation job and came to fame instantly in 1912 by writing his literary parody, That is How You Write. In 1912, he published his famous literary parody, That is How You Write, and came to an instant fame. He is excellent for his robust optimism in all his plays as well as a tremendous psychological insight that he has utilized in his characterization. Frigis Karinthi is famous for all the short humorous burbs that he has written and later an American playwright P. Wilde has adapted his play Refund for general public. The main character of the play is Vasarkov, a middle-aged man who is almost good for nothing. He has learned nothing from his schools and nothing worthwhile through which he can earn some money. One day, Vasarkov meets an old friend, Ladderer, and wants to know about his business. Ladderer to his friend Vasarkov says that well he is into a business that deals with foreign exchange and Hungarian currency. Vasarkov does not understand anything. Ladderer very sarcastically comments that well if you do not know anything it shows that you haven't learned anything from your school. So why don't you go back to your school and ask for a refund of your tuition fees. Vasarkov, without any job, without any finance, thinks, well, this is not really that bad of an idea. He can always go to his school and ask for a refund of all the tuition fees that he has paid to his school and he can always enjoy that money. Thinking so, immediately he rushes to his school after 18 years. He meets the principal and explains the situation. Very candidly, he demands a refund of his tuition fee. The principal is extremely shocked at this weird and strange demand. He is also worried that tomorrow any other student can, can come and start demanding their tuition fees. It is empower or else refund. The principal in his worry calls for a meeting with all his staff. All the teachers come and meet and they immediately hatch a plan. They decide that they will conduct a re-examination. In that re-examination, they would prove Vasarkov as an excellent and brilliant student and make him pass. Doesn't matter what he answers, they would by hook or crook prove that Vasarkov is an excellent student and hence there is no need for a refund of his tuition fees. And there goes a peculiar re-examination where all the teachers, the history teacher, the physics teacher, the geography teacher as well as the mathematics teacher plan a re-examination and start asking questions to Vasarkov. Vasarkov is so sure that he is not going to answer anything and hence he will get his refund in the end. But whatever 
casually and carelessly he answers, the teachers by hook or crook justify his answers and prove him correct. In the end, they declare Vasarkov as an excellent student and hence no refund of the fees were to be given to him. Without further delay, they threw out the student out of the school and the school, the teacher as well as the school become successful in outfitting Vasarkov in his own game. The backbone of the play refund is its humor and the humor lies in its characterization in all the allusions and all the dialect delivery that it poses. But most importantly, the humor lies in the twist that overlies in the theme of the play. The whole conventional situation of a teacher and student relationship is totally made upside down and the examination pattern is also very strange. It is really very humorous to find out how all the teachers are so busy in justifying each and every answer that Vasarkov provides and justifies those answers in their own funny manner. Usually a student would pass an examination and whenever he is trying to face an examination, his objective would be to pass in that examination. Over here, the matter is entirely different and upside down. Vasarkov comes and faces the examination with the aim of failing it, so that if he fails the examination, he can claim the refund of his tuition fees. Whereas all the teachers are hell-bent to make him pass in the examination. They hatch up a strategy and they wanted to outwit Vasarkov in his own game. And the humor lies in this very theme. The highlight of the play is the satire and the criticism that the playwright provides behind all the fun and the laughter. Through this play, Fridges Karinthi actually is criticizing the modern educational system. According to him, the educational system that the schools are having have no relevancy about the practical usages. And it never guarantees that a student who is going to pass with flying colors or even a student who cannot do well in the school can earn any kind of livelihood related to the education that he is earning. Beyond this, the playwright also makes a full-fledged satire about the educational system as well as the examination pattern that the schools would have. According to the examination pattern, one single examination is going to decide the caliber of a student, which is highly impossible and the examinations are more or less based on memory. So the playwright goes ahead and through all the fun and humor and laughter provides a very serious criticism about the whole educational system that we are having. The play is also a satire about the teacher and student relationship. How Vasarkov, being a student, abuses and makes fun of all his teachers. Along with that, all the teachers are not at all concerned about the life of Vasarkov. Whether Vasarkov has really been successful in life or whether he has earned a livelihood through his education is not a matter of concern for the teachers at all. They are more worried about the fact that the reputation of their school shouldn't be hampered. Tomorrow, many other students should not come to the school asking for a refund of their tuition fee. So, without caring even one bit about the student, they go ahead in strategizing a plan to justify every answer given by Vasarkov and outwitting him in his own game. Apart from the satire as well as the humor, the play refund is also very interesting because of his lateral thinking process. 
Lateral thinking is all about a thinking process which is creative as well as innovative and does not follow any logical pattern. The whole concept of lateral thinking is reflected in the discussion between the teachers and the student. The way the teachers are planning to examine the student and the way they are asking questions and justifying each and every answer that the student is giving is full of lateral thinking and that is exactly where the fun and the laughter of the whole play lies. Like say for example, the history teacher asks a question to the student and when the student answers 7 meters which is most irrelevant and makes no sense, suddenly he takes help of Einstein's theory of relativity and justifies the answer superbly. Apart from this, the physics teacher is using optical illusion where the student's answer is justified in the frame that it is a metaphor that he is using to give the correct answer. The geography teacher does the same. He finds out uniquely the answer from his very question. And in all this peculiar justification where the teachers are more bothered that by hook or crook they would have to pass the student and say that he is scoring excellent in all his subjects is all about the fun and the satire of the whole play. The genius of the whole play lies in the last part where the mathematics teacher comes into play. Now it is his time to ask Vasarkov two questions. He decides that first he is going to ask a very easy question. After that, he would ask a very difficult question. Vasarkov as it is by now is a little flustered because he tried his best to speak nonsense and abuse all the teachers so far. But somehow the teachers managed to prove him correct. So now this is the last chance for Vasarkov to get back his refund and earn some money. The mathematics teacher has asked a very easy question to Vasarkov. As it is, he answers incorrect. And the teacher says, okay, Vasarkov, you have really answered it incorrect, so you have failed in the examination. Everybody else, I mean the other teachers, along with the principal, are horrified. They could not understand what the mathematics teacher is doing. They are really worried that now they would have to pay the whole fees to this student and the reputation of their school would be totally spoiled. Now the mathematics teacher goes ahead and says that, well, since you have already given a wrong answer, now be prepared to get your refund because you have already failed the examination. So could you please calculate how much money exactly to be refunded to you? Now Vesarkov feels that, okay, now I have won in my own game. So he calculates the tuition fees that he has paid in every year and comes up with a sum which is correct and immaculate and perfectly correct in his demand. So Vesarkov plans and calculates and comes up with an exact sum of money that is to be refunded to him. Now the mathematics teacher says that well this was my difficult question and my difficult question was please tell me the amount to be given to you if you fail in the examination as a refund of your tuition fees. And Vasarkov, my dear student, you have given me the exactly correct answer. So you pass and you are a mathematical genius and you have done excellent. So nothing is to be given to you anymore. Vasarkov is totally flustered and he is outwitted in his own game and the teachers do not give him one more second to waste and throw him out of the school there and then right away. Thus in the end the teachers successfully 
prove that Vesterkov is indeed a genius and he has passed the examination with flying colors. So, there is no need for him to get any refund. Now, the highlight of the play is its universality. It does not matter at what time, at what age you are reading the play or you are enacting the play. I am sure at every time all the students as well as all the teachers would be able to relate to the concept very well and enjoy the whole play thoroughly.